Oh my jolly giant. I am so bored and I do not want to waste my time being bored and basically doing nothing. Now, what could I possibly do to cure my cursed boredom? Yippee, the new swimming pool has finally been built. HMM, I think I may have come up with a way to cure my boredom. Tee hee hee hee. Oh wow, just look at that swimming pool, it looks so refreshing and I bet it's really fun to swim in. However, it's a shame that I cannot swim without my armbands, oh well, guess I'll have to see if I can find them and then I can go for a swim. Hey, just what do you think you are doing? This isn't the time to be mucking around. Oh, I was just looking at the new swimming pool that's just been fitted in. Oh, is that right? Well, why are you wasting your time standing around and just looking at it when you could go for a swim? Well because, I don't know how to swim yet, well, not without armbands anyway. Oh, is that right? Well, today is your lucky day my little yellow friend, for I can give you a free swimming lesson. Well, I don't know, are you sure you know how to teach people on how to swim? Why of course I do, you cheeky boy. Anyway, let's not waste any more time standing around and talking, we need to get started on your swimming lesson. Alright, first things first, turn around. Um, why do I need to turn around? Do not ask questions, I haven't got time for that, just do as you're told and turn around. Okay, if you say so. Alright, now the best way to start off a swimming lesson is to give the student a good push to get them started. Wait. What? Help! Help! I can't swim. Well. That concludes today's swimming lesson. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some very important clock business to attend to. So, have fun swimming. Hey! You can't just leave me here, what kind of a monster are you? Help! Help! Somebody. Help me. Tony pushed me into the pool and I can't swim, please. I don't want to die. Well, I'll help. Help! Help! Help. Oh my goodness, you seem to have got yourself into quite a situation there my little friend. Also, I've heard that you don't know how to swim yet, so let me ask you this, why are you in the pool if you don't know how to swim? It was Tony, he pushed me in the pool, now he's left me here to drown. Well, I are, please, help me. Wait, Tony did what now? Oh. How incredibly rude. Also, I do appreciate your politeness whilst you are thrashing around in obvious danger. So for that, I'm going to help you out. Ouch. You dropped me. Whoopsie. Sorry about that. Anyway, you okay now? Yeah, I think so. And um, thanks for saving me I guess. So it's no trouble at all. Now... I think we should have a talk with Tony about what he did, don't you agree? Well, I don't know, what if he does much worse to me if he finds out that I snitched on him? Come on now, you can't let that Clark abomination bully you and push you around, you're gonna have to stand up to him sooner or later. You need to show him who is boss. Well, I don't know, it sounds easier said than done. Trust me child, you can do this, I believe in you. Go and stand up to that clerk and confront him about pushing you in the pool. You know something, you're right, I'm getting really sick and tired of Tony pushing me around and bullying me, well, it ends here. I'm going to give that clock a piece of my mind. Go get him, tiger. This is my lair. I come here when I want to plan my evil schemes and maybe possibly plan world domination one day. Tony. We need to have a talk. Oh hello did you have a nice swim? LOL. Don't you give me that you clock freak. You pushed me in the pool knowing that I couldn't swim and you left me to drown. Oh come on. Don't you think you're overacting a little? I mean, you didn't drown did you? You're still here and being a cheeky little bastard as usual. Also, how did you manage to get out anyway? 
that would be me, I helped him out, and I must say that it was rather rude and pure evil of you to push him in the pool and leave him to drown. Exactly. LOL you can talk you pesky bee. At least I didn't attempt to force him to join some dumb cult where you worship some stupid giant gravel eating statue freak. If you dare insult Malcolm like that again, then you are going to be very very sorry. Oh, I am so scared. Yes, you should be scared, you buffoon. What did you just call me? I called you a buffoon. Maybe you need to get your hearing checked. Oh you cheeky boy I am not a buffoon. Correction, you're a lanky levied abomination. Okay, what in the world is going on here? It's a long story. Pain in the ass. Time Lord Wannabe. Baby Pigeon. So I have a revelation for you, I just found out that you're actually adopted. Oh is that so? Well, why don't you prove it, Rad Eyes? Holy shit this is amazing, someone get some popcorn in here.